In a world of genetically bred super dogs, how do you keep them in their area when they can do this? I want you to go over here and then let the puppy out, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, Puppel up here is supposed to stay behind uh, in his little enclosure here when we go out and about to make sure that he doesn't do any piddling on the carpet or anything like that. He also sleeps here at night. Lately, he's figured out that if he hits this gate hard enough and with enough force, he can pop it open. Now, this gate works on a, uh, it's got a spring-loaded plunger here that fits in this groove here. And on the bottom, it's got another kind of spring-loaded plunger that fits into that. So as you push it, both of them click into place, so it locks at the bottom and at the top. But if he jumps at this with enough force, he'll pop it right open. Twice now we've come home and had him out and about doing his own little thing, and uh, as cute as he looks, he can be terrifying when he vomits everywhere. So this mechanism should keep him, even if he pops it free, it should keep it from 
coming loose. And my son can still let him out if he wants. Alright, pop the love, I guess. Whoa! Easy there. Back. Don't even think about it. Don't even think. I, I. Too much cuteness. Too much cuteness. Ah, oh, run away! <laughs> Alright. Thanks for watching.